We help businesses all over the world with their Microsoft 365. When we start to work with customers, we constantly see the same five mistakes that businesses everywhere are making with their 365. And in this video, I'm gonna share what those mistakes are. And I'd love to know, which ones are you making? Okay, let's get straight into it with mistake number one. And that is businesses use OneDrive instead of SharePoint for their shared data. I see this all the time. So where should you put your data? Well, the clue is in the name. OneDrive means for one person, you. In your OneDrive, you should store data that is just for you. Maybe things like pay slips or a project that you're working on something you don't necessarily want anyone else to see. Now, the key word in SharePoint is share. It's for shared data. What I see a lot of businesses do is put all the data into OneDrive and share it to the rest of the organization from there. That's not the right way to do it, and it will cause problems down the line. So your own personal data in OneDrive and your shared data in SharePoint. Now for mistake number two, and it's a mistake that your business will make at its peril. I see lots of businesses ignoring all the security that Microsoft 365 has to offer. There are so many cyber criminals just queuing up to hack into your accounts and try and steal your money. I see businesses giving them a helping hand with weak security. But Microsoft has all the security that your business needs. It's got multi-factor authentication, which can reduce the chance of an identity hack by 99.9%. It also has Defender for Office 365 to give security to your email system. And what about Defender for Endpoint? This is robust security software that is installed on all your devices. And then there's conditional access policies to really secure your Microsoft 365 system and so much more. Microsoft 365 has lots of security. So why is your business not using it? Now for mistake number three. I see businesses ignoring all the inbuilt productivity apps that Microsoft 365 has to offer. There's Microsoft to do where you can plan all of your tasks, get more done and reduce your overwhelm. And what about Microsoft Planner? You can plan all the tasks that you've got to do as a team and as a team get more done. And then there's Microsoft Bookings which provides a link to your calendar. You can send this link to customers and prospects so they can book convenient times in your calendar for meetings, all for you to deliver services. And then there's Microsoft Forms, where you can create surveys, polls, questionnaires to improve your business processes. And all this is built into your Microsoft 365. So use it. Now for mistake number four. I see so many businesses paying too much for Microsoft 365. There are so many clever ways where you can reduce your Microsoft 365 license spend. You could go into annual licensing instead of monthly and save 20%. You could look at all your mailboxes, your exchange online licenses and change them into share mailboxes. These are free. A 15 minute license audit could save your business a lot of money. And finally, mistake number five. So many people assume that your data is backed up with Microsoft 365. Yes, it's true. Microsoft do provide some level of protection, but your business needs much more. And Microsoft agree with this because they also state in their terms and conditions that businesses everywhere should have a third party backup. So if you're not backing up your Microsoft 365, make sure you do. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. There's five mistakes that I see businesses everywhere making with Microsoft 365. Which one of those mistakes are you making?